and I'll be floored, and I'll, I'll stand up here and apologize to all the greedy politicians uh, if he calls the election early. But let's face it, he wants his pension. He's not going anywhere until uh, October, let's say, 20th, 2025. Uh, because there's him and a whole bunch of other politicians that want to grab the taxpayers' money. So my bet is he's not doing anything. He's just putting on a big show like he has for the last number of years there. Ferguson for the introduction and good morning, everyone. I am pleased to be here in Prince Edward County today with Premier Ford and lo local representatives to share some exciting news about the progress our government is making to build Ontario and unlock new housing for communities across the province. Infrastructure connects people to their families and friends and the essential services that they rely on every day. To keep pace with the province's fast-growing population, we know that we must maintain and expand Ontario's infrastructure to protect Ontario's world-class standard of living. That's why our government is making targeted investments to deliver our key infrastructure priorities like building more homes, expanding transit and improving roadways in communities across Ontario. In fact, we're investing up to $1.6 million right here in Prince Edward County towards the King Street Corridor Redevelopment Project, which will allow the City of Quinty West to build reliable and accessible sidewalks and roadways for pedestrians, cyclists, and vehicles. We know that building Ontario also means building more homes, and new homes should not be built or approved without access to clean water, wastewater, and stormwater systems. In fact, there are communities across the province that would like to approve new housing, but need to address their water capacity issues first. We heard from municipalities that replacing, repairing, and expanding pipes and treatment facilities was a huge financial burden as they looked for ways to build more homes. That's why we are providing municipalities with more than $1.9 billion in funding through our infrastructure program to build housing enabling infrastructure. We awarded $970 million to 54 projects in 60 communities through the first intake of our housing enabling water systems fund to help municipalities develop, repair, rehabilitate and expand local water infrastructure systems to unlock more housing. In response to the high demand for this program, our government is investing an additional $250 million to launch a second intake, allowing more municipalities to apply for funding to support their local water infrastructure needs and enable even more housing opportunities. We are currently accepting applications until November 1st under the second intake, and I encourage all eligible municipalities to apply. While water infrastructure is essential in getting more homes built, we know that other infrastructure upgrades are also necessary to accommodate growth. That is why we recently launched the Housing Enabling Core Servicing Stream. This stream will provide municipalities with $400 million to build, maintain, and repair core assets like roads, bridges, and culverts to connect new homes with reliable roadways and other municipal assets. Applications for funding under this stream are also now open and will be closing on October 18th. Investing in key infrastructure projects in our local communities means investing in people and families to create a stronger, more prosperous Ontario for generations to come. And together with our municipal partners, we will get the job done. Thank you, and now I will invite the Premier to the podium. Great. Well, good morning, everyone, and it's great to be back here in beautiful Prince Edward County alongside Minister Surma. And, you know, folks, if you've never been through Prince Edward County, I encourage you to come by, you know, especially during the fall. The leaves are going to be changing and and uh, maybe pick up a bottle of wine somewhere in one of the vineyards. But what a beautiful town, great people. And before I begin, I also want to acknowledge and welcome Mayor Ferguson and all the city councillors, thank you for doing a great job, uh, councillors and, and the mayor, as well as Nadia from the Residential Civil Construction Alliance of Ontario, Durate from the Prince Edward County Chamber of Commerce. You're all doing an incredible job, so thank you so much. Prince Edward County, like so many other communities across this province, is growing. And we need to build more homes to support the growth that we've seen over the last number of years. 
We recognize, however, that homes don't get built, as Minister Surma was saying, without the necessary infrastructure to support it. That's why, in our most recent budget, we included an investment of more than $1.8 billion to help municipalities get shovels in the ground for infrastructure projects that will help build more homes faster. And everyone wants industry to come and jobs to be created. Well, we, we have some uh, big announcements, hopefully coming down the, the pipe in the next uh, couple months. But people that get employed here, a big company that might employ 1,000 or 2,000 people, they need homes. In the last month, we announced that the first round of investments from the Housing Enabling Water System Fund, a total of $970 million will help build more than 500,000 homes across 60 municipalities. So today, I'm thrilled to announce that this first round of funding includes up to $18.3 million for Prince Edward County to help build a new Wellington Regional Water Treatment Plant. This is, this is an absolute game changer. This investment, this new facility, will provide clean water to the communities of both Wellington and Picton for decades to come. And it will help the county get nearly 4,000 new homes built, keeping the dream of home ownership alive for more families. And Mayor Ferguson, we're going to keep working with you and your council, not just to build more housing, but to make sure Prince Edward County has the infrastructure it needs as it grows. Unlike previous governments that didn't plan for the future, we've embarked on the largest capital expansion in the country's history to support growth in communities across the province. As Minister Surma mentioned, we're investing in the King Street Corridor re Redevelopment Project and work is now complete on on the uh, Bay of Quinty Skyway Bridge Rehabilitation Project. We're spending $63 million on that, which serves as an important connection to Highway 401, both for the residents of Prince Edward County and for the hundreds of thousands of tourists who visit each and every single year. We're moving ahead on widening 401 from Pickering to Belleville to keep people and goods moving. In education, we're investing $16 billion, uh, $16 billion to build, repair, and expand schools, including the recently opened East Hill Elementary School in Belleville. In healthcare, we've gotten shovels in the ground on the new Prince Edward County Memorial Hospital in Picton. This incredible healthcare facility will offer cutting edge equipment and services, including a 24 hour emergency department, connecting Bay of Quinty community members to the care they need closer to home. Work is also underway to expand health services at the new Belleville and Quinty West Community Health Center. And we're supporting Quinty Health as major improvements are being made to the emergency department building at Trenton Memorial Hospital. Friends, we're building the homes, the hospitals, the schools, roads and highways, and other critical infrastructure Prince Edward County needs to attract investments and new jobs and to support the region's population's growth. We're building the infrastructure that Prince Edward County needs, that the region needs to reach its full potential. Mayor, Council, I want to thank you for your partnership and we look forward to continuing working with you and Council to build Prince Edward County. Once again, thank you for joining us and may God bless the people of Ontario. Thank you. Good morning, Premier. Mark morning. McAllister from City News. Hey, Mark. How are you doing? Good, thank you. Good. How might the federal NDP decision to uh, reverse its backing for the Liberals at this point impact your decision on a possible early election? Well, as far as I'm concerned, uh, MP uh, Singer, just, he's just blowing smoke. There's nothing more important to these uh, greedy politicians than collecting a pension. And he was elected in October 2019. Uh, and October 19th, 2019, and I'll be floored, and I'll, I'll stand up here and apologize to all the greedy politicians uh, if he calls the election early. But let's face it, he wants his pension. He's not going anywhere until uh, October, let's say, 20th, 2025. And, uh, and uh, because there's him and a whole bunch of other politicians that want to grab the taxpayers' money. So my bet 
is he's not doing anything. He's just putting on a big show like he has for the last number of years there. Based on your answer, does that mean you won't be calling an early election next year? Well, again, we haven't made that decision yet. I'll tell you, we aren't calling an election uh, this year, and we're going to make sure that we continue with prosperity and creating jobs and opportunities for the people of Ontario. We're going to continue giving opportunities to the uh, regions, uh, just, just like this one we're here today announcing the Water Enabling uh, Infrastructure Fund. Premier Ford, uh, Minister Surma, Jason Parks, Picton Gazette, and thank you for coming to Prince Edward County today and delivering this uh, great news for our local residents. Thank you. Uh, in, 19, in the 1960s, uh, the province commissioned a uh, highway that would connect the Skyway Bridge, which you referenced, uh, to the town of Picton. It was a concrete road uh, built by local hands, McFarland Construction Company. It was all local guys. Yeah. It was a point of pride in this community. It was smooth as Pearson Airport runway yeah. for 30, 30, 40 years. Uh, in 1998, the uh, Harris government downloaded this, uh, this road to uh, the, the municipal hands. Uh, the current uh, estimate to fix that road is $30 million, and it's way beyond whatever uh, Prince Edward County ratepayers could possibly afford. Yeah. It's uh, voted as one of Canada's worst roads by CAA. I, I heard the uh, laundry list of great infrastructure projects that you guys have going. Um, when can we see something happen with, uh, with 49? and uh, could the province provide some leadership on this? Sure, so hi Highway 49, uh, you're right, there's a lot of history behind that. I'll, I'll, I'll say it right now, uh, if we can get the feds on board, uh, then we'll be on board. So if they can pitch in money, we'll pitch in money, and the county can pitch in some money, uh, we're ready to go on it. So um, I guess our next challenge is to make sure we get the, the federal government to give us some infrastructure money that's uh, desperately needed, not only just here, but around Ontario. So we'll be in if they uh, can come to the table. Uh, you mentioned uh, the hospital uh, shovels in the ground, and obviously this, this uh, announcement's probably been in the works for a while. Yes. And a lot of that was championed by uh, former MPP Todd Smith. Uh, what can you say about uh, Todd uh, uh, and, and his legacy here in the community as a, uh, as a cabinet minister, as yeah. a MPP for 13 years? Well, Todd has a great legacy here just as a community uh, leader and as an MPP and a minister, he's always had a strong voice um, down at Queen's Park, and that's why we need to elect Tyler. Tyler is going to have a strong voice at Queen's Park. Uh, you need a voice at the table, as I always say, and he'll do an incredible job. But just so proud, I call him Smitty, so proud of Smitty and all the work he's done. He's loved here. He had an excellent opportunity uh, for a change after serving the people for a number of years here, and I encourage everyone doesn't matter what party you're from, you know, do your time, work hard. If you want to stay, as long as the people want you to stay, stay. But if there's other opportunities to make three, four, five times as much money, take care of his family, God bless him, go get him. Premier Ford, Tim Durkin with Switch <coughs> ABQ and Quinny News. Uh, the leaders of all the parties have been to the riding with the by-election coming up next Thursday. Yes. You had an opportunity over the long weekend. Can you tell us some of the issues, some of the concerns you were hearing from uh, some of the residents in the city of Belleville? Well, I went into the uh, hardcore uh, liberal, you know, section of, of this riding, and, man, if you didn't tell me it was hardcore, I wouldn't have believed it because we had a lot of support when I was door knocking. Uh, number one concern is just keep going. Typical concerns, you always want to improve health care, which we're doing. We're putting a lot of money into health care in this region. Uh, we're, we're also, uh, you know, we've sunk over uh, $33 billion additional dollars. We've increased health care uh, on the infrastructure side by $50 billion of 50 sites. And, you know, a few of those sites are, are right here in this uh, uh, Prince Edward County. So we're going to keep focusing on that, hiring more doctors, hiring more nurses, building medical schools. So that's always a concern across the province. But do you know what pays for all that um, is the economy and, you know, making things more affordable by getting a good job, better uh, job and a bigger paycheck. That's what we're focused on. And uh, just stay tuned. Uh, if it, you know, in the next couple months, there's going to be a huge announcement uh, here with a very, very large company. I'm crossing our fingers that lands. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, it's coming to town and it's great paying jobs. And it gives people certainty and, and stability, knowing that they're gonna collect a paycheck at the end of the week, that they can pay rent or pay a mortgage or buy a home. So this is exciting. Keep the economy strong and just keep in mind, folks, 
When I took office six years ago, 300,000 jobs were chased out of this province. Companies were leaving. High energy costs, red tape, regulations, high taxes. Move forward, over 800,000 people are working today that were not working um, six years ago. 160,000 jobs alone. And I threw these numbers out to the great governor of, uh, of New Jersey that came, came by the house and we had a great chat. He could not believe uh, the stats I was telling him. So let's stay strong. We're in a very competitive environment around the world, but we're leading the world on so many different areas. Good morning, Premier. Hi. Hi, good to see you back here. Great announcement That's today great. for Prince Thank Edward you. County. As it ever. Nicole Klinstaber, Starboard Communications. Um, as you have been out uh, door knocking with Tyler, I'm sure you've heard one of the biggest issues that's affecting residents here in this community is housing, access to affordable and attainable that's housing. Right. What is your government doing to help not only the residents here in this community, but across the province? Yeah, great question. Exactly our announcement today, we're putting $18.3 million into water and wastewater. You can't build anything if you don't have the infrastructure. So we're, we're pouring money into infrastructure. Uh, the minister has been traveling around the, the province uh, announcing um, you know, new water, water treatment plans to more pipes, sewers, and that's what's going to get things going. That, that represents over 500,000 uh, new homes. So there's a great opportunity. Maybe I'll pass it over to my minister and she can uh, elaborate on what I just said about making sure that we get those 500,000 homes built. Thank you very much, Premier. The Premier um, said it correctly. It's $1.9 billion worth of infrastructure dollars. The first round was $970 million. I think this is the most ambitious plan in the country. Uh, but you can't build a home if you don't have access to clean drinking water and if you don't have the pipes and the treatment facilities uh, in place for the wastewater. And that means everything. You can't even build a community center or shelters or affordable ho housing units without having that connection to water. So I've uh, worked very closely with municipalities. I'm very happy to be here to help unlock 4,000 uh, units right here in Prince Edward County. This will be... And I, I, I can't help myself, but I, I got to... Give my uh, every monthly beating on the Bank of Canada. Thanks for the quarter percent, but that doesn't cut it. We need to get interest rates down to three, three and a half percent, anywhere around that range. You'll start seeing homes pop up like mushrooms all over and more investment happening here. So we need to lower the interest rates and uh, we need to speed up on these rather than just dripping, you know, quarter point, quarter point. And I hear the, the feds in the U.S. are going to be reducing their interest rates, so um, that's what we need to do. This will be the last question. Hello, Premier. Hi. Uh, Derek Baldwin, Post Media, Intelligencer in Bogle. Uh, there's been much ado uh, made about uh, a new arterial uh, exchange off 401 in Belleville. And uh, part of your campaign so far in this by-election uh, has been promoting that you will work to make it happen. But there seems to be a lot of confusion in, in the region and in the riding. Uh, a couple of years ago, uh, AMO, uh, Ministry of Transportation officials, told uh, city councillors in Belleville that the, that the city would be paying for it, not the province. So, and the cost is estimated between 40 and 50 million. So, I'm just, can you clear up the confusion? Please well, I'm going to have to look into the statement, what they said about the municipalities, but we're always open to working with the municipalities. It's a little unfair and it's a heavy burden for communities like this to take such a, a, a large amount. You know, the tax base uh, wouldn't be able to afford it, in my opinion. But we're spending over $200 billion on infrastructure, over $28 billion on roads and bridges and off-ramps, on-ramps. So I'm, I'm sure we could support a community like this. and. I'd love to uh, see what happens, but it all comes back to making sure you have a loud voice at the table, and that's uh, Tyler will be jumping up and down for that. God willing, he, he gets elected. I can't, I can't tell you how important it is for him to be at the table for this community. Thank you, everyone. Okay, thank you, everyone. Great announcement today. Thank you.